just a hair early this week um i don't know why i just i'm in the filming mood tonight so well not tonight it's like four o'clock i think it's like four o'clock at this point uh, i just got home changed into my aritzia bubblegum pink tna set um juno and i were about to go on our little walk and i was wondering if i should like get some tacos or something but i guess i'll see when i get outside but yeah y'all i got my braids done look they're cute they're long too look uh-huh uh-huh i just got them in a ponytail right now because that's how i had them um at work and i think it's cute but i had a really good experience i went to this braid shop for the first time it was like a walk-in shop never did anything like that but i actually had a really good experience um and y'all it literally only took three hours to do a whole head of not this braids and it only cost two hundred dollars two hundred dollars you broke um yeah it only cost two hundred dollars and they're fire y'all so i will be back to that spot but uh yeah i got the braids done so he waited on me to take him outside so let's go outside just to give us some weekend um foreshadowing i guess uh saturday i have plans i'm supposed to go to the zoo sunday i do not have plans friday i well tomorrow is friday I'm supposed to do dinner and drinks with gucci's owner if you remember her from the last 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 long i think i don't know supposed to go out with her but we will see what happens and for now let's take juno outside on this walk i do want to play around too so let's go i go outside one of my first vlogs i don't even know if y'all remember this is probably like the second vlog i ever made i told y'all how juno was shredding this basket up and how i needed another one i never got another one and he continues to just shred it up shred it up shred it up so it sits up here on the counter when i'm at work and i just take his toys out and give it to him because he will shred this basket and leave all the little pieces over the floor i also leave him some blankets out during the day um but he will leave pieces of this basket all over my rug and i come home and vacuum it so it stays up there until i can find another solution okay okay let's go man man come on you're gonna clean your blankets up when you get back too all right, we just got back inside. I actually went down to the mailroom to pick up two packages. I never retrieved my little Amazon dresses, so I did that. And then I have a second package here um, that I have to film some sponsored content about. So this will get unboxed when I go do that. But um, while I was walking Juno, I was like, bro, I wanna go swimming so bad. So let's go swimming. It's Thursday, I know, but it's Friday June, so let's go swimming. I'm about to change it to my little bikini. And then we're gonna go swimming at the pool. Um, there's nobody down there right now. I just walked past on my way back up here. So I'm just gonna lounge. I'm probably not gonna swim because whatever. Um, but I will lounge by the pool because why not? It's Thursday, it's hot outside. Ooh, should I make a cocktail too? I got some tequila. Maybe I'll make a cocktail. Let's see what one of these dresses looks like. Uh, ooh. Uh oh, it's the gray one, y'all. This is nice. Wait, why is this fabric better than the black? What's going on? Y'all, the fabric to the gray is better than the black. So make sure you order it, guys. Not promoting my own Amazon storefront, but I'm saying that I'm getting every color. Like, I'm not stopping at just these colors. I'm getting every color. These are so perfect, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm ready to go. My top, I want to say it's from Target. I don't know, it's literally so old i think it's from target um and then my shorts are the bermuda shorts that i bought from zara this past weekend i said that i look like a zookeeper in them but i also think that they're cute so i bought them so yeah let's go it's actually not as warm as i thought it would be but we're here uh, i'm not getting in that water because it's entirely too cold so we're just gonna sit right here 
kind of a fail because it's not warm. It's not as warm as I thought it was. When I was walking Juno, I was wearing that sweatshirt. So maybe that's why it was warm. But now I'm out here like, it's not even warm. It says it's 80 degrees, but it don't really feel like 80. So I'm just laying here. Um, but I might go back inside because I want some french fries, like really bad. Also, like, I just got dumb hungry when I got out here. So I might go back inside to get some food or something or go pick up some food. I don't know. I kind of, maybe I should cook tonight. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, I came back upstairs because that just wasn't giving, it wasn't warm enough. So next time I wear that bikini and no shorts. Don't be surprised if you see it again. Anyways, I have my ginormous t-shirt on and I'm making some fries. The waffle fries from Trader Joe's. Put them in the air fryer. Y'all, they are so good. And then I'm gonna just sit down and eat these and watch a little TV and do nothing for some hours. I'm just chilling. It's a work night, so I'm just chilling, getting ready for tomorrow. I'll get up and make some dinner later. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I do that. Um, okay, it's like going on nine o'clock at this point. I'm very hungry and I didn't want to uh, go get food because I'm low energy. And I don't want to cook a whole extravagant meal because I don't feel like it. And it's also Thursday night, right? So I thought, why not me in the middle? Let's make a Trader Joe's meal. If you, if you know, you know. This right here, but gourmet. You gotta spice it up. You gotta put your bell peppers, you gotta put your onions, you gotta use your sesame oil, everything. And then you have it with some rice. Mm-hmm. Bell peppers here. I'm just gonna do a rough chop. I'm not looking to do anything crazy or like fancy. I just wanna add some flavor to the dish. So I always just do a rough chop and then add them right in with the onions, let them cook for a little bit with some oil, season it a little bit, just a very little, and then um, I'll throw the broccoli in, let that cook in the pan, take all the veggies out, cook the meat, add everything back in, add the sauce, and then have rice. Say something for real. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just went ahead and added my rough chopped veggies to a pan with some toasted sesame oil from Trader Joe's. Really, really delicious. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the pan while that is, what do you call it, sauteing. This is my key to everything. This is my key to flavor, is just to add a little bit of seasoning while your veggies are cooking in the oil. Like, it makes such a difference. That toasted flavor, oh my gosh, it's so good, y'all. Okay, so I just went ahead and added my broccoli in, gave it just a little bit more seasoning, and now I'm just tossing everything in there. And when the broccoli is like a little bit cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and then add the meat to the pan. Also gonna add a little bit of onion and garlic powder to the pan while it's cooking. Okay, so I removed the veggies from the pan, and in that pan, I'm just gonna add a little bit more sesame oil and then I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the meat in the pan. All right, so I just cooked the beef for a little bit and then I added the veggies right back in. So I'm just gonna let them come through in this meat for a little bit and then I'm just gonna pour the sauce over, turn the heat off and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, I decided I did not want it on top of my rice but this is dinner, so I'm gonna eat this and then honestly I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed because it's getting late actually on my way to work right now um just walking to my car i have on a jacket because it's a little chilly i have my water and my lunch here so i'm just about to head on in i'm praying for a good quick day so i will see y'all when i get back home all right hey y'all it is friday after work now i am exhausted to say it's been a long day would be a sufficient understatement so I just put up to Trader Joe's because I need more of those white truffle potato chips oh my gosh y'all they are so freaking good they were gone the day after I got them gone ran through so I'm about to go get a couple more bags of those my flowers also died this week so I guess I'll get the weekly flowers a little bit early this time probably something without color something white this time since we just did orange I'm about to go in here and grab that. I guess I'll get whatever else I can find too. Um, maybe some more of those waffle fries because those were really good yesterday. Other than that, I don't know. But after this, I'm just going to go ahead and go home. I might just relax for the evening or I might actually go to dinner with one of my friends. I don't know. So I'll have to hit her up to see what she's trying to do. But I guess we'll see. Let's go on TJ's and then let's go home. 
Ooh, some more watermelon. Oh, I gotta get some more watermelon. Yes, that was so good. Okay, let's go. I got some hydrangeas this week. If you know hydrangeas, you know that they last literally forever. Like, I could have these for two and a half, three weeks. Um, I don't know why they last so long. They last a lot longer than any other flowers that I usually get. So I got those. I got some chips. Um, what else did I get? I got the fries. And then I got... Wait, what else did I get? Oh, some watermelon and some mango. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go home. Got the hydrangeas here. I'm just going to go ahead and trim the stems a little bit so they can actually fit in my vase because they're really tall right now. Juno is also here watching me. Um, and then I did decide to go to dinner tonight. So we're about to go do tacos and drinks with a girlfriend of mine who lives pretty close to me. So it should be good. I'm really in the mood for some guac. I don't know why I've been craving guac so heavy lately. Like last week and this week, I just need the guac. But um, yeah, I'm just trimming up. I wonder if I should keep them like this, like green and white on that side or if I should like mix them in together. They're really pretty. Do I need to trim them? How much do I need to trim them? Because this is a pretty large vase, so. Okay, yeah, I definitely gotta go shorter. Got a little suds on it, but that's okay, trust me. It's okay, it's okay. I put a little bit of bleach water in my, um, or a little bit of bleach in my water for hydrangeas, and I swear they last three weeks. I'll be like, dang, I still got them flowers? These stems are so hard to cut though. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not strong enough. I'm getting hungry too. It's um 5.30 right now. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the leaves off. All right, this is the orientation I'm gonna land on. I might trim them just a little bit shorter so they can like kind of hug each other a little bit more and not have so much space, you know, like this a little bit more to be like a little bush. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them because I need to go get ready. So these are the flowers of the week, y'all. I'm on live right now. Uh, I just did a little bit of makeup and then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner at like 7.30, it's 6.48 right now. Uh, of course I'm alive because I'm always on live. Literally every time I do makeup, I feel like I come alive because why not? But yeah, I'll show y'all my full fit when I'm done here. Expedity plan, sorry, should I leave and come back? I don't know what to do y'all. Uh, should I have shorts? I, and those Bermuda shorts, I wanna say they were at 34. Oh, it's fine now? Expensive costs so much, and then they be like, "Please reconnect." Like I'm like, "Bro, I pay you so much money, and I can't even have a clear connection." Y'all went to work today. It was boo. -boo. In all seriousness, it really was. Give a rise then. Should I give a rise? I've seen it like thirty minutes. Get the expensive down my yeah. The bill is so freaking high, and they like honestly kind of suck. Maybe I'll get rising because the only thing I have for my senior is Wi-Fi. I don't have like uh, this is also them. Well, I don't know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say I don't have a house phone or anything else. I don't have anything else but Wi-Fi. Rising be acting up too. I feel like they all be acting up looking. You going on a date solo? I'm not going on a date or I'm not going solo. I'm going with a girlfriend. Spectrum. I never heard that. What is that? It's fine. My turn to be acting up too. Yeah, my turn to be acting up a nut lately. Never heard of Spectrum. All internet service guys. Probably is. All right, y'all, this is the full fit. My top is from Aritzia. It's the Sunday's best one, like I said. Jeans are from Zara. These are, I wear these a lot. Like, honestly, these are like some of my favorite jeans from Zara. And then I got my um, Target sandals on, the little Lizzie McGuire platform sandals. I think that these are so freaking cute. Uh, and then I'm finally gonna wear my, um, what do you call it? I'm finally gonna wear my Aritzia bag out because I never actually wear it. I've never worn it before. I got it like over a month ago in DC. So it matches really well today. I feel like it never matches with anything. So I'm gonna wear this and let's go because I'm about to be late and I'm not a late person.
just got back inside. I don't know why your nephew, y'all's nephew, choose to do the things that he does. I left the wrapping of the purse in my room on the floor, y'all. Why is it in the lip? I know you lying. I know you lying. Y'all nephew done tore up the wrapping in the living room. Now I gotta clean this up. Come here and explain yourself. I can only laugh at this point, but what made you do this? You always doing something. This is what it's like to have a dog. Think twice, think twice. Juno's mess still needs to be cleaned up, but I'm about to take him outside now. I'm putting my braids in a ponytail. I'm loving a ponytail. I gotta wear it tomorrow. Uh-oh, huh? Huh, what'd you say? Huh? <laughs> Ariel on the phone, she looking at me like I'm stupid. Um. <laughs> Bro, I want some ice cream so bad. So I think I might walk to the grocery store to get some ice cream. I don't know yet. Or I could just eat those chips that I bought earlier. But I want something sweet. I need something sweet. <laughs> I really want something sweet. Like a black person. Huh? I said you sound just like a black person. Come on, I need something sweet. <laughs> I know. Black people always need something sweet after they eat dinner. <laughs> but I really do need something sweet. So I might go get something sweet. But I don't know. I got to take June outside and clean up that mess first. And then I might actually edit tonight. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But y'all, I had a skinny margarita at dinner. It wasn't so skinny. Wasn't that skinny in my opinion. But it did what it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Lexi, good job. Hi, Bubby. You got spaghetti on you? What's that on you? Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Bubby. <laughs> Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Hi, y'all. Happy Saturday. So, I am pretty much dressed and ready. Uh, not ready because my makeup isn't done. But I figured I would sit on the camera and actually do my makeup this time instead of live because I never actually just do this. Like, I haven't done this in a while. It's been a long while. I think the last vlog I did it was back in, like, March when I just sat in front of the camera to do makeup instead of on live. Um, the reason I like live so much is because like when I ask questions, obviously people can answer in real time. Whereas like I have to make my own decisions when I'm here. It's like I don't even know what shoes to wear and nobody can tell me. <laughs> but I'm about to just start my makeup, wearing my glasses, I gotta take those off. Um, and then I'm just using my OG Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer by NARS. Just took a dot of that on my blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it on each cheek. There was a little bit much, so I'm gonna just carry it over to this cheek. Um, the sun is really bright right now. It's not directly shining in my face, but if I do that, it will be. So I'm trying to like stay back here so it doesn't directly shine in my face. Juno is whining. I can't figure out what he needs, what he wants. He has breakfast, we went outside, the entire thing. So I don't, I don't know. Um, take a little bit more on this other cheek and blend that out. I also like to put it on my eyelids. I don't put anything on my forehead unless it's just like right here, like right where that eyebrows are. Um, but everywhere else I just blend it. But Juno, please. And it's like such a sheer natural finish that I feel like I don't need to put it on my forehead. I do drag it down my neck a little bit. I'm wearing the green or the gray dress. Um, the dress is like, the neckline is too big for me. So I keep having to pull it up and then pull it down in the back or like I'm gonna have a slip. And I don't want that. I just want it to be like perfectly perfect. And in order for that to happen, I would have needed to wash it because my black one is better after I washed it with the neckline. So next time I wear it, it'll be better. But like, I hate like pulling my top up and pulling it down in the back all day. Like I freaking hate that. But y'all, I'm going to the zoo today. I am geeked to go to the zoo. Like I've been wanting to go to the Philly Zoo since I got here and I still haven't. So that's on my agenda for today. Um, I think I'm going to a cookout after, I don't know, but if not that, then I'm gonna hang out with one of my friends after, like later tonight. So that's enough tinted moisturizer. I'm not trying to do anything heavy at all. I'm about to be outside uh, at the hot zoo. So I'm going in with my NARS Creamy Radiant is what it's called. Creamy Radiant Concealer. Sorry, Radiant Creamy Concealer, Jesus. I always do that, I always get it wrong. Ooh, I feel like a YouTuber now with my hand in, in the back, like, oh. Okay, I'm using some of this concealer right up under the eye. This concealer has the best finish. 
is not really a brightening concealer because I don't have a brightening shade. But I do have a brightening shade in this Essence Keep Me Covered. This is in the shade 70. I love this concealer. Also has a great finish and it's like a thinner concealer too. It reminds me of the Kosas a little bit. I think this is a dupe for the Kosas. I don't know. I'm going to put that right on top and I'm going to let that sit down. Sit and dry down rather before I blend it out. And right now I'm about to hit my eyelids with some setting powder because my eyelids get oily. Anybody else or just me? I don't know. Um, I do have the new one size setting powder. It is absolutely divine, but I'm going to use it under my eye and not on the lid. On the lid, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. Just like, I'm just dusting my lid to just basically set with the, what I put on um, the tinted moisturizer. And to just prevent some oiliness today. Not a lot at all, just basically setting that in place. Because my eyelids get so oily and right here in between my eyebrows. It gets oily and greasy and the rest of my face is bone dry, like bone dry. So I'm just doing that to this eye too. And then under my eye, I'll use the one size setting powder. The one size setting powder is flawless. I used it yesterday for basically the first time. Um, like for real, for real, I used it yesterday. So yeah, it's beautiful, it's amazing. So that's it for the eyelid. And right now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some mascara. So while this um, dries down under my eye. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara has been a game changer for me, okay? If you don't know, now you know. You have to get this mascara. So inexpensive and so good. The applicator is so interesting too because you wouldn't think that it like works how it works, but it does. It's good. I love this camera. The autofocus is eating the girls up, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and comb it back and forth on the base of the lash and then comb upward and keep doing it until they're full to my liking. I do kind of want to get on live now. I want to talk to y'all. I'll keep the camera rolling if I do get on live. Um, well, I'm glad I sat down for the beginning of this just to chat with y'all on here exclusively. Not that y'all are not the same people because I do know that y'all are the same people on TikTok and YouTube. But I know that some people are just on YouTube and not on TikTok and vice versa. And I want everybody to like experience the content. So I'll be trying to split my time on what I do on whatever platform. But obviously YouTube is long form content, so yeah. Y'all get a little more in depth, well a lot more in depth than TikTok. TikTok, I have short videos, YouTube. The last video was an hour, which is crazy. I'm so glad y'all liked it, like I love y'all so much. So this video should also be long, cause y'all really ate the long video up. And then when I'm done with that, I just take like a plain clean spoolie and I just run through the lashes to make sure they're all separated and fluffed out. And then I'll clean up my lid with any mascara that I got on there. Dang, I should be filming a makeup tutorial for TikTok too. I love TikTok. I could literally film them both at the same time. Dang. All right, different angle because I am going to go live right now honestly i should be filming for tiktok but it's fine i guess when you let your it's just so pretty it's quiet today y'all because i'm also filming for youtube in the background and i don't want to get a copyright claim so we're not gonna do any music sorry so we are about to do one size setting powder which is in my face thank you I'm gonna try this powder. And the packaging is so nice. Like, look, it has a little. It's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I'm just using my real technique, techniques 202. No, 402. Just gonna fix them up. Thank you. Fix them up, dust it off. Pack it off, sorry. I'm gonna get rid of my line. 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 I'
I'm going to the today, so I have to like make sure everything's nice and set. Hi. Uh, when you first get the dress, or at least me, my chest is like little, so you don't sit right. Like after you wash it, it sits right. But I hate to be like pulling it up all day, like pulling it down, and like it's so annoying. Why can't you get heck? I know y'all got some. Yes, I'm gonna get blue next. Who's fire? I don't wanna keep pulling my dress up. The powder is stunning. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to go. I have to go. Wash it first, don't worry. Yeah, but I have to go in like, a little bit, so I can't wash it right now. I don't have time for that, but I should. The only one I know about the black one, I definitely should. It's not loose anywhere else. Like, look everywhere else. It fits perfectly. It's just up here, I think. Like, my chest is so little that I have to like, keep putting it in. Because I'm wearing like a nude thing up under it, and I don't want it to show at all. So, everywhere else is great. I'm using a one size. Um, what's it called? I suppose that is what it's called, right? Good morning, top of the morning. But, I got a little something on. I got a little something on. Anybody else's eyelids get oily? You know what I'm saying? Very hard eyelids. This mascara is stunning. I don't hear because I need help with shoes. I don't know what shoes to wear. This dress. Thank you. I got a little ponytail. Well, not a little ponytail. Thick ponytail. But I love ponytail. I don't know what shoes to wear, though. I need help. That's why I got a little ponytail. My skirt's going on to Scotty. I don't know what shoes I got in mind. I want to get on these, but I can't look to do at the walk, so. I need some shoes that are comfortable. I don't know what shoes to wear. I don't mind wearing a sandal. I think the new ones would be good too. Yeah, they're gray. I have gray and I have black. 2002 R. And then walk away, so I don't need to come here. It's supposed to be after that, but it's still cooked out. So. It's just more like moving around on my feet like that. Um, so you just, I didn't order that one yet. I'm probably gonna do that one in color. I like the long sleeve one too. Like a big sleeve. That thing, but it's like everything on the bag. Yeah, I don't want to try anything, but it needs to be cross on the bag. Because so now I'm gonna use some of this Juvia's Place Volume 4. I've been running through this. So I just swirl that around and just go lightly. I like to take it under my eye just a little bit first and then bring it up. It really blends perfectly well with that pink setting powder, honestly. And then I'll just do a little bit of the hot pink when I'm ready. What should we do some orange? I got some orange here. I'll we'll definitely do the darker one on top when I layer it. But I like to start with the lighter one. And then we'll go on with a little bit of the darker pink. Focusing that like right there. Now the orange, this orange has a shimmer and I'm not a shimmer type of gal. But I guess we'll try it. <gasps> Lord. Hold on. I never tried this orange before. Bro, get the pink. Is that a fish? I'm not a full-time content creator. I'm a full-time scientist. Oh, yeah, so that's what I was doing at first, but then I was like, damn, I want to talk to somebody. So I got up over here. This is a crush buddy. This ponytail? Huh. I feel like this is like not casual enough though. But the sneakers will be casual. Another option, yes. Let's go get more options. I can only carry so much. I need to tighten these straps. I'm filming again. I just turned the camera on. This is the look. This is the look. So I finished the makeup. I got a bag, got some shoes and everything. So I'm about to show y'all. But we used the orange blush today. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. It does not really show up as much as it does in person on the camera. But I love it so much. I also really love my ponytail. And yeah, so let me show y'all my fit and then let's go. All right, I'm in my room again with the mirror. But again, I have on the gray Amazon dress, Coach Pillow Tabby, my glasses. These glasses are from Five Below, y'all. I swear these glasses are from Five Below. I think they are. Um, and then, yeah, I just got my ponytail. And then today I'm wearing my Sakai's again. I think that they're really cute. If you don't like sneakers and dresses, I understand because I typically don't. But I think that it's really cute. And I think it's a look. Like I said, I'm going to the zoo, so I'm about to be walking. So I have to be comfortable um, no matter what. So, yeah, this is the finished outfit. The dress is so comfortable. It's literally perfect for walking, cleaning, whatever you want to do in it. Y'all need to get it. It's linked in my storefront. Buy it now. Okay, let's go.
they have naked Morris and look how freaking adorable they are. <laughs> he's running on the wheel all naked. I bet he's cold. Look at him looking right at me, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at his little face. Look at his little face. <laughs> Y'all, look how slump this turtle is. Look at his back leg. <laughs> so excited. Let's see how you get in here. I want to pet these goats so bad. Say hi. You want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi, vlog. Say hi, floppy vlog. Okay, so we are actually on our way out because we feel like we saw everything that we needed to see and it's so freaking hot out here y'all and I'm getting hungry. You guys, they look yummy so I'm gonna eat these and then we're gonna leave. So we are done at the zoo. It was really hot outside, but a really good time. I've never been to the Philadelphia Zoo, so that was really fun. Um, they had a lot more animals than I was expecting because just being in the middle of the city, I didn't know what I expected. But the next move is a cookout, so I'm about to head over there with...
from that this away from Easy now, no need to go down Easy now, no need to go down Rock that run that this away from Easy now, no need to go down Easy now, no need to go down Rock that run that this away from Happy Sunday! Okay, y'all. I can't even explain to you how much fun I had last night. Like, I... Not even last night. Yesterday as a whole. The zoo was absolutely amazing. But after that, I was eat, like so much freaking better. Like, I went to a cookout. The cookout was so freaking fun, y'all. They had a stand-up comic, crab, lobster. This was like a black luxury cookout, apparently. But I got to meet so many new people, and it was so much fun, y'all. Um, the girls there... We're very influencing on the shots. <laughs> so I ended up taking so many shots, but I still feel so amazing. Like, it's literally 8 a.m. right now. I don't have a hangover at all. I drank so much water to, like, you know, combat the hangover. And it actually worked. Like, that might be obvious to some people, but I'm not a drinker, so I don't really have all the ways to not have a hangover. Um, but that works so well. Juno Squeak and his toy. Um, the girls there were so kind, so nice. Everybody was so freaking welcoming. The family was so nice. Y'all probably so confused. Like, who are you at this cookout with? I was at the cookout with the same person I was at the zoo with. He wanted me to go with him and meet all his friends and family, so I did. Um, and it was ball. It was a blast. I don't regret a single second of it. Everybody's like, are you even drunk? That's why you need to take more shots. You need to take more shots. I'm like, y'all, I'm good. Like, no more shots for me. Um, so yeah, it was it was so fun. It was so fun. But it's Sunday, it's time to do our reset because I haven't really been like touching up. Well, I've been touching up the house like there's no dishes in the sink. I got some water right here. No dishes in the sink. The floor is, the couch is clean here. I'll just show you. Everything's like clean for real. Um, But I just need to like deep clean if that makes sense. Like, I just need to get down and dirty, like clean the baseboards, wipe the windows. Like I'm about to do all of that. So that should be fun. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about yesterday because it was so freaking fun. Like yesterday was one of the best days ever for me. I don't even know why. Like the vibes were just so genuine. Everybody was so kind. The food was so freaking good. Like huh, the only thing I regretted about yesterday is the fact that Juno had to stay home. Other than that, girl, it was a ball. Like it was a ball. Um, so I'm about to make me some breakfast right now and then we'll get right into the Sunday reset. Like I said, it's still very early in the morning right now. Well, I guess it's early to me. He playing with his toy. It's early to me because it's like eight something. I did not expect to wake up feeling this good, like not hungover, no headache, no nothing, no fatigue, no nothing. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else we're going to do today. I don't have any plans like at all. Maybe go to Target because I want that Naturium body wash if that's how you even say it. Other than that, hopefully it's warm. Maybe I can go back to the pool and have a seat <laughs> out there, like put my legs in or something. I don't know. Or maybe we'll do a solo brunch. That sounds kind of fun and like a little ultra trip or something. But don't hold me to any of that. For right now, we're about to make some breakfast and then and then clean up. I'll change of plans. I don't have any ripe avocados, and the bacon that I have, I think, is like going bad. So I'm going to go to the grocery store. Ouch, you know. I'm gonna go to the grocery store to get some breakfast because I'm so hungry and I need to eat. And I'm gonna pick up some extra things for the week. So it's like a win-win. But before I do that, I just want to put my sheets in the washer so that I can be washing while I'm gone. So let's put the camera over here. And strip the bed. I hope everybody had an amazing Saturday and Sunday because by the time you're seeing this, it'll be Monday. Um. So hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Hold on.
sheets off. I have the clean sheets here. This is exactly why I always keep two sets of sheets because while one is washing, you can put the clean one on. When it's already clean, you don't have to wait for them to wash. But I do have to wait on my comforter because I'm gonna wash that by itself in the washer because it's too large to fit in with everything else. And we all know how washing comforters works. So I'm gonna put this on the bed and then load the washer and go to Wegmans. space in the drum but if you know you know the buff city soap laundry detergent so good <laughs> I'm just gonna go in the closet and find something to wear to the grocery store real quick. I think I'm gonna wear this um, blue Ritzia set just real quick. I'm not gonna do any makeup today cause that is pointless. So we're gonna go bare face, bare brows, all that. So let's get this down and then figure out how I can get out of here quickly because I'm hungry. But at the same time, now I'm getting the urge to clean. So it's like, uh, should I just clean all the house now and then just eat lunch after or like, yeah, because I could just clean the house and then do a solo lunch after I clean up. But, like, I'm so freaking hungry right now. So, I don't know what to do. But, regardless, I'm about to slip this on and we'll figure it out. My um, little outfit on. So, I'm just going to go to the store now. I figured I'm too hungry to wait. So, I'm going to go to the store and make my food. And then I'll clean up some more. But, to be honest with you, nothing really truly needs to be cleaned that bad. I'm gonna vacuum this upholstered bed frame. I'm gonna vacuum the living room. I'm gonna clean the kitchen up. But I guess I'll eat first, so let's go to the store. And since I didn't say it this morning, happy Father's Day to anyone who's a father and watching. I know it's mostly girls on here, but tell your daddy I say happy Father's Day or happy belated Father's Day because when you watch this, it will not be Father's Day. But I hope everyone has or had a great Father's Day, including my dad. <laughs> Near the avocados, but none of them seem really ripe. So this is kind of a waste of time. Um, this isn't all right. inside i'm watching the service but does anybody know why my hydrangeas just died like i bought these what friday um i woke up this morning and the green ones are, are just dead the white ones are fine but the green ones are just bent over dying so i changed the water just to see if they're gonna perk back up but lord have mercy what's going on somebody tell me like what this is sad they look so good before i was so happy with them but I got my hat 
hash brown going. I cut up some bell peppers and onions to add that. I'm gonna put this bacon in the oven. Hopefully this avocado is ripe enough to be eaten. Um, but it, I mean, I'm gonna just try to eat it regardless, but um, I'm gonna put that on some bread when we're done here. I season this with some garlic, some onion, and the 21 seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I just wanted something different today instead of patties. So I just took a, um, a potato and put it through like the cheese grater wrung the water out ring whatever you however you say it drain all the water out and then just add it to a pan it's super easy to do y'all should try it or you could just buy shredded hash browns but i don't know it's kind of fun to shred them yourself that's cooking we'll just go ahead over here and move this stuff to the dryer and put the comforter in the washer let's do that Ugh, there's stuff in the dryer i hate when there's stuff already in the dryer that i have to like do something with Juno. I'm about to trip over you, and that's not gonna be pretty. It's the most Sunday is Sunday ever. Like cleaning, eating, watching service, not really doing anything real. Um. peppers and onions to this so I'm just giving it a nice mix and I'll let it continue to cook and then I'm gonna go back to sorting laundry all right I finally finished uh, making the food it actually didn't take long but I have hash brown bacon avocado toast I need some honey to drizzle on there a grapefruit and some lemonade and Juno's right here begging you won't get any but let's eat and then go back to cleaning
put my trust in you What will you do? Will you just step back? Will you duck it out? Will you be here to the end? I just wanna know if you my friend I just wanna know if you pretend I know I'm in the way All right, I'm all done cleaning, thank goodness. I um, took my sweatshirt off, put this tank top on because I'm about to go outside and play with Juno. I'm also gonna do some training, so I'm gonna bring my little unique little moon bag to put some treats in, just because I wanna reinforce some things that, he's, that he already knows. So I'm gonna get some treats, put them in there, and we're gonna go on our long walk. I'm still wearing my blue shorts, and then I'm still wearing my Nike Vomeros. But yeah, let's pack this bag and go outside. So we are back from our walk. Um, I'm just gonna sit on the couch and edit this vlog right now. I'm kind of hoping to be finished like tonight with it because last week I was finished on Sunday night and that made Monday upload so much easier. You have no idea. Like I was able to get the video up super early. I actually set it to premiere. So that was very nice. Um, so I'm just sit down, get ahead, try to do that. I might watch some TV while I'm doing it just in the background to be honest with you. And then I know that my nails need to be done because I'm tired of looking at them look like this. They need to feel so bad. I'm not even going to show y'all. So yeah, that should be nice and I'll check in with y'all later tonight. I also got to figure out dinner because I have no idea what I'm going to eat tonight. So we'll see. People ask me what I use. I always use CapCut so far. Um, I do have DaVinci installed on this laptop, but I haven't tried it yet. And it says media not found because my SD card is in the camera as I'm filming right now. But once I put the SD card back in, all the footage goes back. But yeah, I use CapCut, y'all. And then I use Canva for all of my thumbnails. Really simple, really easy. Also, I'm about to sit here and make the thumbnail for this week too. So let's get to it. All right, y'all, I did my nails. Uh, I did a build or gel set per usual. Uh, I think they turned out really cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with them as usual, per usual. Um, so I got on live and did these nails and I had a chat with y'all for a little bit. It was good per usual. Uh, literally always good conversation and I love the support. From here to the end of the earth, you have no clue just how it feels like to be supported by all of you like genuinely supported too like it's like unreal and i can just feel the love like i literally just feel the love um <laughs> juno's here too he's begging me to let him up but yeah um i'm just about to make something super quick to eat and then complete editing this vlog um because i'm not done yet and i also have a tiktok to edit so i just wanted to close out the vlog and i also wanted to say that i hope you guys had an amazing weekend and i hope you really 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 love the vlog this week um i had so much fun uh, i think the highlight of my weekend was the cookout to just be able to like go to a new place and create new connections and like meet new people just like in such a genuine way is so amazing to me um but it was such a good time like you have no idea um but yeah so this is it y'all and um hope you enjoy i hope you have a good work week good school week good whatever week just a good week and as always until next time i'll see y'all